Hey fellow athletes, it's Clayton here at Natural Wellness Physiotherapy. Uh, this video I want to kind of address some of the questions I'll get uh, from time to time about hamstring tightness. There's kind of the age old question of, can I stretch on my hamstrings? Can I touch my toes even though I've never been able to? And is it really truly hamstring tightness? And if you've over the years effectively tried to stretch out multiple times a day for a matter of weeks and you don't notice that you're getting any more uh, change in your hamstring length or your ability to touch your toes after all this stretching, then you've probably effectively ruled out uh, that it's hamstring tightness. It's probably something else. And most of the time, the second, the second thing in line is usually what, uh, what we call nerve tension. And I know immediately you're probably like, what the hell is nerve tension? So if we think about what nerves are, um, it's a bundle of tissue, of course, that attaches from our brain, down our spine, down the back of our leg, all the way to our toes. And if you imagine I have a string uh, that length, then when we go to bend over to touch our toes and our heads droop down, we're going to put a little bit of tension throughout that whole thing, and that's what could be holding you back from um, having like this elasticity down to your toes. So uh, I want to give you a couple different options on gliding that nerve and kind of helping the mobility of it so you can start reaching towards your toes like you want to. Um, if we think about the sciatic nerve where it comes out kind of near our rear end, it's about the thickness of your pinky comes down and splits and goes the rest of the way. And when it's going through all those fascial tissues, all the muscles and everything like that, where it kind of has its own little tunnel, we need to make sure that there's no hangups through there. Doing these glides is what's going to kind of move it back and forth and make sure we kind of break loose anything that could be holding you back. So the first one is um, I'm going to take a pull-up band. You can use a dog leash, a belt at home. Um, if you've got a really big towel and you roll it up, wrap it around your foot and bring it up to your hands, that's a good route as well. So uh, the setup is pretty important. So laying down on your back, having both both feet pulled up towards you. We're gonna focus just on one leg at a time. So keeping the knee straight as well. You're gonna use your hands to kind of aid this leg lifting up. Once you get kind of wherever your point of tightness is, you're gonna feel that tightness or zinginess on the back of the leg. You're just gonna kiss that point of pain and come back down. We're gonna work out maybe 10 to 15 of these. Just nice and easy, slow and controlled, no big movements. Um, and nerves can be kind of finicky, so this isn't an exercise where it's like more the merrier. I don't want you going home and knocking out 20 to 30 of these, because sometimes that can kind of irritate things a little bit more. Uh, your second option is to bring your knee up to where we're 90 degrees here and 90 degrees here. Pull your toe up and kind of tighten up the tissue there. Kind of hold your leg there and then slowly straighten the knee out there. That's another option. I start to feel the zing kind of back in the calf. Again, 10 to 15 of these. I would start with one or the other. Uh, to get off with. Let us know what this does for you. Most likely, if you've already tried hamstring stretching, that's not working. This is the route for you, and this is where you're going to start to get results. So uh, this is a part of a bigger picture we've got going on, like a pain-free runner's checklist. So if that sounds like it might be you as well, then go ahead and drop us a comment below, and we'll get that sent over to you. If there's any other questions or anything like that, also put a comment down below or DM us. But until next time, this is Clayton at Natural Wellness Physiotherapy.